guys, welcome to the Shaquel YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and I'm here today to give you a review of this really cute wig that I have on today called Dress Me Up. Dress Me Up comes from Gabor's brand new luxury designer series of wigs. And the really cool thing about all of these wigs is that they are made with true to life heat friendly fibers. So I find that to be amazing because that means we get to see all of the colors on these wigs that we see in Raquel Welch's heat friendly fibers. Now the particular color that I have on today is called GF4-10SS. This is called Shaded Ice Java. I love this dark brown color. It is just such a beautiful dark brown as your base. And it also has some really nice ashy light brown highlights that are just blended all throughout the color. Now, Shaded Ice Java is a shadow shade, which is another way of saying that it's a rooted color. Now, it's hard to really understand why you would have a rooted color on a wig that's already dark. But when you have this darker color, what that means is that the highlights on here are going to have more of a grown out look. They're not going to start right at the root. They're going to start a little bit further down, hence that shadow shade that it has. So the style on Dress Me Up is basically a long, blunt bob. You're going to see these unstructured waves throughout. And the thing that I love most is that they're not too overstyled. They're really gentle and a very flattering look. You're going to find that this whole piece has pretty much no layering to it. They're generally the same length all throughout the wig. Let me give you a little spinneroo so you can see. You'll also notice that the ends of the waves are going to be a little bit straightened out. So the end isn't going to finish off the curl necessarily. It's generally a pretty straight and again, blunt look. You're going to find that in this wig, there is a little bit of permatease throughout sort of the mid sections of wefting here. So it's going to be right at the base. There's also going to be some permities at the back of the wefting as well as a little bit on the top here and the crown. Now, I don't want you to be scared of this permatease. So many people are so scared of permatease, but this permatease really does add to the structure of this piece. And it's not so overwhelming that it's gonna give you this giant poof of a helmet on your head. It's a really flattering amount of permatease. And like I said, nothing to be afraid of. If you want to add more volume, then you can definitely really get in there and use that permatease to your advantage and give it that added volume. However, you can also really tame it down to give it more of a low profile look. I find that this wig has probably about medium density to it. So I usually measure this by if I can tuck it behind my ears. So on this one side, I can generally tuck it pretty easily, but that's because this is a left part and there's less hair. On this side, I do have a harder time tucking and having it stay or being too poofy. So there is a good amount of hair on this. It's definitely not a low density piece, but it's also not like insanely high density. It's just your average medium density piece. I will let you know that I did take this out of the box about a week ago and I've worn it three times since then. But even though this isn't like fresh, fresh out of the box, the only thing I've done to this is just taken out the zigzag part. I haven't added any heat or product or styled it at all. I've just worn it a few times just to kind of see how she feels and what she does so that I can share it with you. Now, if you know anything about heat friendly fibers, you'll understand that they tend to tangle and get a little bit more clumpy more easily than your standard synthetic piece. And this one is no different. So after wearing this for three full days, I have noticed that it does tangle easily. And some another reason why it does tangle easily is also because there isn't any layering like I had mentioned before. And when all of the hair on a piece is all the same length, it does want to clump and tangle a little bit more easily. So I have found myself throughout the day running my fingers through it quite often just to get those little tangles out. And like I said, since I've only worn it three times, 
um, there has been that tangling and I have found already, it might be hard to see through the camera, but I have found that because I'm running my fingers through it a lot, it does get a little bit frizzy at the ends already. However, that being said, heat is the way to fix that. It's going to take out any frizz or fuzz that you might have at the ends of your fibers. And because this particular style tends to straighten out at the ends, I think this will be a really easy piece to maintain because all you need to do is take your flat iron or your hair straightener to the ends, just the very tips and go through the ends really gently to help take out that frizz. Let's go ahead and take a look at this cap construction. So one thing you're going to really love about this one is that it has an extended temple to temple lace front. So that means that the, this lace front is going to go all the way to about the midpoint of your ear tab that's right here. And of course, on the other side, and this just gives you greater styling options. You can style it off your face with ease without being worried about an unnatural hairline. However, that being said, I do find that this hairline in particular is a little bit more dense. So when I say dense, that just means that there's more fibers sewn into the hairline than I would usually prefer. So you could fix that a little bit by plucking some of these hairs out. However, I personally am probably not gonna touch it. I'll probably just leave it the way it is. Now, something else I think you'll really love about this cap is it has an extended monofilament left part. So when I say it's an extended left part, I mean that it's gonna give you the illusion of hair growth right from your scalp on your left part, and it's gonna go so far back, all the way back here, and it actually curves around. I don't know if you can see it curve around. I'll show you the inside of the cap in a minute but it's way extended to the back, which is gonna give you an even more natural appearance. Let me take this off so we can take a look at that inside of the cap. So here's that extended, hold on, <laughs> this will be better. There we go. Here is that extended lace front here. So that ear tab, the lace goes all the way to the mid ear tab and of course to the other side. And then here's that really cool extended monofilament left part. It's like a big hook that goes all the way around, which is something that you're not gonna see on many wigs. Usually your left mono parts are gonna stop about there. So this is a really cool feature to have. This section here is wefted and you're gonna find a little bit of permatease up here. We of course have an open wefted cap, which is really great for stretch and ventilation. So this is better option for um, you know, the summer months or wanting to feel a little bit cooler. Uh, we have your ear tabs here, they're velvet, and inside is that metal stay that helps to keep the wig down and close to your temple. We have an extended velvet nape, which makes it a little bit more comfortable. And then your Velcro. Oh, this is a tight, or <laughs> it's not coming off. Oh, it's a strong one. A Velcro adjustable strap for your circumference. Now, let me just talk about the fit for a second. I am generally a petite size. I wear a lot of average sizes just because there's, you know, more options out there. Ugh, oh dear. But I should be a petite size. So I measure 20.5 inches in my circumference. Um, 11 and a half inches front to nape and 11 and a half inches ear to ear. That being said, I do find that this wig fits me pretty good. There's always going to be a little bit of bulk for me in the back of the cap. I can probably pinch about an inch of extra cap back here. Um, but the circumference is pretty good. I've adjusted the Velcro in just a little bit, but I find this to be a pretty true to average fit. If you're interested in purchasing this wig, then make sure you check us out at chiquelle.com if you're in the United States, chiquelle.ca if you're in Canada, or chiquelle.com.au if you're in Australia. And if you found this review helpful, then make sure you click that like button and subscribe to my channel where, 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 blah where I can give you pretty much any information you need on wigs, toppers, and alternative hair. So if you have questions, drop them in the comments and I will try my best to get back to you guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.